Hey, welcome back friends. As always, it's good to see you. So today we're going to be uh, giving a product review on a 5-in-1 emergency survival bracelet. So here it is. This is brought to us by Monkey Fist Survival. And so in this video, I'm going to discuss what all five tools that it has in it. We're going to go over what it is and what it is not. Give you some initial thoughts on what I think about this. We'll carry it on from there. Hey, if you want to master your field craft or develop your tactical virtue, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so that you can stay up to date on future content. All right, let's get to this. All right, so as I mentioned, it is five tools in one, and those five tools are, are some paracord that actually makes the bracelet, right? And it's, uh, a, I'm going to guess that there's probably 10 feet of paracord uh, in the bracelet, depending on the size. It could be nine feet, could be 11 feet. Uh, but you'd be surprised at, at how much paracord it actually takes uh, to make a bracelet that's going to go around your wrist, right? Uh, so the second thing that it has on it, of course, is you can see the little button compass, right? Bam. Button compass. And then it has a, a little ferrule rod that, that's right here. Bam. There she is. Well, there she is. And then it has a little whistle. There's a little mouthpiece right there. And it has a knife. A little blade right there in the striker. But first thing first, right? This is a $10 five in one emergency survival bracelet. So is this thing going to replace this, 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 and this? No, it's not, but it's not designed to do that. So wipe off the preconceptions of how gimmick of a product this may or may not be and let's give it an honest review and take a look at this thing and see if it's something that you want to add into your kit bag and a kit bag of somebody else that you know maybe it's a kid a spouse a loved one whoever it is maybe even your own for some redundancy and uh and we'll go on it from there all right and so i will uh i will have a link down in the description below if you want to check these out uh man you can find them all over the place but i will say you know monkey fist uh, you know, reached out I was like hey stoker you know can we send you a product or two and have you do a, a review on them and i was like hey well i mean why not i'll, I'll let you know what i i, I think it would be an honest review uh, so unpaid uh, review, uh, unbiased. We're just going to take a look at this thing and see if it, again, if it's something that you want to add in your kit bag. So this is how it's actually going to come. Packaging on it. I'm going to take that little tag off there. We don't need that, do we? A up close look at the knife blade itself and the little striker. And since we're looking at the knife first, let's see how it's going to do on some paper. All right, so it kind of it kind of chopped into it. Let's see if, if she'll dig in. So it will do in and do some scraping. Although it's not it's not overly sharp. I would imagine if I use my Dremel chainsaw sharpener, a little file. I mean I, I could spend some time and, and get it down right. But again, it's not a $40 blade. So it will open up an MRE. We'll do that. Of course it does have the little striker there, and we'll take a look at that here in a second. And as a comparison, right? So here's here's a blade right just a little different but that's my knife w one of them anyways I have a I have a lot of knives and now I have one more um, all right so let's uh, look at the compass next right so the compass as we know is a magnetic tool uh, that should point to magnetic north as you can see it's just a button compass right it's not a lensatic compass it's not a base plate compass it's just a button compass um, you know things are, are super inexpensive super cheap uh, to pick up and uh, you know they're not overly reliable it is liquid filled I don't know what this particular one is filled with whether it's alcohol or water uh, it looks like this one already has a bubble in it I don't know if it'll we can get in on that I'm gonna go from here and zoom in see if you can see the bubble that's in there um, and all that means ultimately is gonna be a little less accurate and but you know a, a, a compass of this size I'm you can't dial in an azimuth or a direction right I couldn't tell you what uh, 236 degrees is on this compass uh, but you know I should be able to tell you which direction is north south east west the old Kamanga and I'll give you an audible here on if we're both pointing in the same direction. Actually, I'm going to step off a little bit further, get away from some cameras, stay away from my knives. All right, so there's north. It's about the same. I can't put them both together, right? Two compasses ain't, ain't going to work nice, but 
Looks like they're both pretty close. So if I had to trust this to, to tell me what direction southwest was, I, I would trust it to tell me which direction southwest was. If I had, again, you know, if I had to trust it to tell me what direction uh, 42 degrees is, you know, I, I mean, 42 is north east. So I could kind of trust it to tell me that. But it, you're not going to determine and stay on a, on, on a direct azimuth. But again, you know, it, it's that's not what a button compass is designed to do. Um, so uh, it is what it is. Next up is the whistle, right? And again, there's a, lo there's a little mouthpiece right there. So uh, let's see how this whistle sounds. Um, not, not penetrating, not overly loud. Uh, but you know the good thing about a whistle being high pitched like that. Uh, is it will send off uh, a distress to a farther distance in theory than what you can project with your own vocal cords and that's why we use whistles uh, as a comparison here is a uh, Fox classic this is a Fox 40 I love this thing the, a little bit a little bit louder but again you know this thing in this package is not going to compete with this and again I mean that's not what it's designed to do and so last but not least is a ferro rod that we have in here am right there L little teeny guy right little teeny guy and uh, we'll change camera angles here and uh, take a look at how m much good strikes we get off of this thing not horrible not horrible a little different, but again, $10 ferro rod. So there you go, everybody. You know, that's the uh, Monkey Fist 5-in-1 Survival Tool. Um, you know, and it, it is what it is. It's a $10 uh, survival gadget. And is Stoker going to buy and use it? any of these tools as a primary tool in my kit bag? And the answer is absolutely not. So don't misunderstand this review and, and why I'm doing it uh, to, to mean that because that is not what it means but it is a good tool and i will tell you you know for ten dollars uh you know it is a really good tool uh to give a kid right my son 17 years old he's gonna absolutely love this thing and so it's a great thing to, to put into a kid's hand and say i want to teach you about land navigation i want to teach you about some knots and we'll we'll tear this thing apart i want to teach you about making a fire without using a lighter right just using a striker and a, a ferro rod really good for that and, and the reason why man it's ten dollars so i could i could afford to buy all of my kids one of these things and it's not going to put a big damper in my pocket i'm not going to go buy all my kids a kamanga compass uh, because a they're going to lose them if they lose this it's not much sweat off my back it would also be a good you know tool you know if you're just trying to add some redundancy redundancy redund redundan, redundancy uh man i'm having a hard time speaking these last couple weeks you know it will add some redundancy into your kit bag without taking up a whole lot of space or a whole lot of room if you just want to throw this in there and uh and call it car good now you have a second layer for all these things in your kit bag and hey, if it's your thing, rock it on your wrist. You know, it's probably worth about 10 bucks. And I think, you know, to use as a learning kit, maybe you have a, a Boy Scout troop and you want to go buy everybody in your Scout troop one of these things. Man, it's really good and it's really designed for something like that. So let me know what you think uh, down in the comments below about, about a 5-in-1 emergency survival uh, bracelet and uh, we'll keep this conversation rolling hey if you haven't already done so make sure you like and subscribe to the channel again click that notification bell because that's the only way that you're gonna be able to stay up to date on future content and as always until then we'll see you